Interview 29, In Ray Johnson Disappearance, October 24, 2009. Continuing with Madam Lydia. Madam Lydia, Madam Lydia, please continue. Great spirits from beyond. Calling. <laughs> Bring me the answers from the great beyond. Oh, come on. What's the matter with you stupid spirits? I'm sorry. This is really embarrassing. It's the price hike, isn't it? Mm. We've had this conversation before. It's not like I have a choice. This economy is killing me. Besides, it's not like you need the money or then your relatives don't care. I mean, it's not like they would have gotten anything if I hadn't given them your information. Okay, 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 I know it's wrong to exploit this gift, but a lady's got to make a living, you know. Sorry, I'm still having trouble contacting the spirits. They're not feeling very chatty for some reason. When I don't want them around, they are non-stop chatterboxes. But as soon as I need them, nothing. <laughs> this is really pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaking the rules. When you make a deal with a spirit, you hold up your end of the bargain. And they have to honor the conditions of that deal. It's like some sort of cosmic rule. They can't go back on their word. So I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. As you can see, <laughs> Well, I'm a little agitated right now. Hey, can you blame me? I mean, I give these spirits my all. I never do anything halfway. That's just the way I am. And it's not like I expect too much of them in return. Little common courtesy, please. <laughs> like telling me you were going to take the day off. I mean, come on. a person is supposed to anticipate something <coughs> like this. I mean, especially since it's never happened before. Ever. Has, has something bad happened to you? Oh. You're all dead. So if you're scared of something, does that mean for the rest of us? Oh well. Oh! 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 No. Fine, if you don't want to talk to me, then I don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> Two can play this game. I'll just sit here and not say a word. Nope, not a single word. I resorted to the kind of things that my nephew Pete does when I bail him out of jail. You know, I, I, I know, I said I wasn't going to talk to them. Just to clarify, I'm not talking to you. It's not like 
like you did anything wrong. I mean, it's not like you made my life a living hell for years. People didn't look at you as if you were crazy just because you were constantly talking to yourself. You didn't cause your parents to take you out of high school. Only to have you committed to an institution because they thought you were crazy. <laughs> no, you didn't do any of those things. They did it to me. <laughs> because you wanted to be free. But you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Do you hear that? I've done nothing wrong. I don't deserve that, you dead bastards! <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. You mean to me, do you? I don't really know what more you talk to me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is... This is highly unprofessional of me. I'm normally not like this. Really, I'm not. Do you, do you mind? If, do, you, do you mind? Do you mind if, if, I, if I take a little break? I mean, I, I just need a few moments to collect myself. Please. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>